everyone, this is Megan O'Levy and welcome to the Fight Cave. All right, this just came in from MMA Bobblehead. It's their newest release featuring the notorious Nick Diaz from the 209 Stockton, California. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and get my thoughts. Now, this is the autograph version. Um, let's go over ahead and look at the box real quick. Uh, real simple and basic. It's all black. You have the MMA Bobblehead logo in the back. Um, one of the things is that um, I reached out to Dave, the founder of MMA Bobblehead, and asked him how many autographed versions were available, and uh, he never responded back. So it's hard to really have an idea of how many produced. I know that for Chuck Liddell and Buffer and Dan Henderson, he made a hundred, but um, you know, I know for George Mosvidal, for instance, they sold out, right? They sold out in the autograph versions and, you know, mysteriously a couple show up here and there. And I think right now they have some available. They're about twice the the original price. So uh, it's kind of hard to, to figure out, you know, is this really a limited edition? Or are they, you know, continue to get more uh, signed by them? So it's one of the things that I wish he would put on his website and, um, let us know how many are available and are they a legitimate uh, limited edition? Because if you sell out of a limited edition, uh, you know, a couple more shouldn't pop on the website three months later. So here's a certificate of authenticity. It is just high gloss paper. I really don't know if that really, you know, means much. Um, here, however, is the, you know, certificate of authenticity. Uh, it says that there's only 286. No, it says this is 286 out of 1,000. So that, that means something because it gives you number, it's serialized. So as you can see, it's autograph base. It's gold. Some were silver and others were gold. Like I said, he doesn't put the, the numbers out there to let you know what's what. Um, 286, you got the felt, you got a round circle. Uh, has the year basic what, what they usually do with these so we'll Go ahead and put that there and Let me go ahead and get out Nick um, He keys in just like the George Mosvidal but he's kind of kind of loose it's not really a tight fit so some of the like Sideshow and XM Studios that do uh, comic book and movie pieces, they use magnets to kind of uh, help them stay in. And I know that's probably not an option, but um, at this price range, but you know, they seem to continue to rise in price. Uh, that definitely would be an option down the road to help keep these in, in there because I have moved my George Mosvidal and forgotten that uh, it keys into the base and uh, it almost ended badly. But in the back right here, we got the Nick Diaz Academy out of Lodi, California. Um, I'm looking at his hair right now. It looks it looks well done. You know, I'm looking for, uh, you know, the paint application. Uh, it doesn't seem to be sloppy at all. It looks very tight and clean. You got his cauliflower ear. Nice touch. Uh, his face, it has a little bit, I've, I've talked about, you know, kind of how they overshade a little bit. And uh, I don't know if they're doing that for like a bruising effect, because that could be, that could be it. But they seem to really have overshaded around the eyes a little bit, but not too bad. There seems to be something on the rest. You got the mouth guard in. Um, uh, the feet, the feet are kind of sloppy, or at least the toes are pretty sloppy. Doesn't seem to be well sculpted. Uh, I'll put a picture of that later. Um, and they didn't paint the toenails on this one, or at least it doesn't appear so. Uh, usually they paint the toenails um, of these. Uh, as his body, 
His body looks the right proportions. Um, that's a Nick Diaz body. Everything looks pretty good. Um, you know, his, his toes could have definitely been done better. Uh, the shorts, the paint application on the shorts look nice and clean. Uh, you know, he even got wrinkles in the shorts, which is a nice touch. I don't... Uh, you got, well, Masvidal has it. I, yeah, even Dan Henderson has it. So they've been doing that from the very beginning, which is a great job. Does it dethrone Bruce Buffer as my favorite? Offering from MMA Bobblehead, no. Um, but it's still very cool. Uh, not too much Nick Diaz autographed stuff out there that you know comes from a legit vendor. And you can see the shades of red in the body. I don't know if that's the way uh, they did it. But I can definitely pick it up. It's, it's in the back as well. Uh, the shades are red. So, yeah, very, very good. A very good addition to my collection. I'm going to go ahead and get you uh, some close-ups.